for those who are wondering if this shoes is for men, um, to me, I mentioned that some of my other videos too. As long as the shoes fit your feet, I think they are unisex. I don't really care so much about the gender because they are really cool on men's too. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel. My name is Ness. If you are new to the channel, this channel provides a lot of product review, specifically footwear design. And sometime here and there, I will sneak in a couple of clothing pieces that I think that are interesting to share with you guys. And they always, always include few different looks to give you guys ideas how to styling with the shoe or the product that I done my review. In this video, I'm gonna do a review on this to show the Nike Air Max Flyknit Venture and the Nike Flyknit Plum. This release, they have three different models. As some of you guys may know, I'm not really a fan of the slip on type of show. So that's why I skipped that model out. I ended up bought these two models. The first one is the Nike Air Max Flyknit Venture. The second one is the Nike Flyknit Plum. The colorways upper on these shoes look amazing. And also they use this colorway upper on the Nike Air Max Flyknit Venture. Unfortunately, that colorway is sold out. So I end up get the black colorways. Every time Nike release new model that have the engineer knit upper, I always really interested in it. I mean, Nike is really a top dog in engineering knit upper, especially the Nike ISPA line. Those shoes, the upper to the outsole tooling, they are very innovative. Not just for a lifestyle product like this, but they also done amazing engineering knit upper on the performance type of shoes as well. And the pricing on this Air Max Fly Knit Venture is $180. The pricing on this Fly Knit Bloom is $150. And as you can see, this model, they don't really have a lot of branding. Some branding on top of the tongue and in the back and also in the toolings. It doesn't really have big sweet branding logo like some other Nike product, right? If you like this video so far, give me a thumb up. I would truly appreciate it. In this model, I ordered these shoes in size 6 US. Uh, in woman size is seven and a half. That is usually the size that I wear if I want to go to the woman size. Often I go for like woman seven and a half or woman size eight. It really depends on the brands. Uh, another thing though, these shoes have a high heel drop um, because of this junky Air Max bubble in the heel area. I would consider this sneaker is the platform sneakers because these shoes give you two and a quarter inches in height. And compared to this Nike Flyknit Bloom, I don't really feel that much bounce in the heel part. And also these shoes only give you two inches in height. If you want a quarter taller, then just go for this Nike Air Max Flyknit Venture. And the upper on the Nike Flyknit Bloom, they are entirely made out of engineered knit. Compared to the Venture model, the upper is a combination with engineered knit and mesh material in the tongue. And on top of the tongue, you can see they have synthetic leather tongue pole with the lace stabilizer in the midfoot. And in the back of the heel counter, you can see they have the tiny PU pattern piece with the nylon heel pole. If you look closer into the lace that go around the heel counter, this is not really functional, they basically stitch down on these laces, but they still have the purpose as heel support because of the laces that wrap around this ankle. And the detail that really stand out to me the most is this sponge cushy around the collar. From the top down view, you can see this model. They have the asymmetrical rubber mug guard. Compared to this model, Nike Flyknit Flum though, this upper also have the rubber mark guard. And what I like about the upper detail on this model, which is this Flyknit, they hidden underneath of this 
I stay pattern pieces. You don't really see the laces from the side profile. And in the middle side and lateral side, they use the transparent knit. If you look closer into the Nike fly knit plum around the collar, they mix up with some like furzy, cozy type of material. I never seen that before. And you can see they use some on the nylon heel pole as well. Like the Venture, this model also have the laces go all the way in the back for styling wise and also give you more reinforcement for your ankle. I think that is the beauty on this upper, which is you can lace the shoe in the back, not just for the aesthetic along like the Venture model. And the branding logo on this model also very minimalist. I think they done a lot on the performance show compared to like, this is the lifestyle. So they don't really put a lot of branding logo on it. And inside of the pattern pieces around the heel counter, they have the molded padding that really nice and clean look modern uh, compared to the venture model they basically just have a piece of the micro squares around the heel counter areas i would prefer this molded padding piece around the heel counter it feel extra comfort when i wear the shoes and go to the tooling on this venture model the top of this missile, they use softer dew density form. And in the bottom of this missile, they use denser dew density form. And in the back of this model, they have the Air Max bubble. And what I like about the detail on this tooling is in the back of the heel spring, they use the square heel spring. It gives the shoes a modern look and go to the tooling on this model bloom. Components wise, they are pretty much the same. On top of this missile, they use softer dew density form. And in the bottom of this missile, they use denser dew density form. And the heel spring on this model also is the square shape, pretty much the same design language on the Venture model. For the outsole, they both using recycled rubber outsole. In the middle of this tooling, you can see they have some cut out. This is give the shoes more flexibility and also reducing the weight. And styling wise, I think the color blocking on this upper is definitely gonna look very good with denim jean bomber jacket. Compared to this Venture model, they really look good with kind of techy look type of outfit. And up next, I'm gonna share with you guys how I would like to style them. Overall, I think these two models, they look very cool and innovative. In my opinion, Nike really mastered the engineer knit upper, right? Um, to me though, I would pick the Nike Air Max Fly Knit Venture because it's the black color, right? 
black color. I have a lot of black clothes in my closet. And if you like one of the look in this video, give me a thumb up and subscribe to my channel for more video. I have a lot of video coming up every single week and I can wait to share with you guys.